Alistair Smith, uh, 5G, we do not consent, Ireland. How you doing? Good evening, folks. Uh, so, 5G, they say it's safe. Well, 4G is more or less uh, safe, but it was installed over a period of time. 5G is going to be installed by the end of the month, and they will switch it all on, all at one time. Your body will not have any time to adapt to the changes in frequency. Your mind will not be able to adapt. Your brain will not be able to adapt to the changes of frequency. Uh, they're just going to do it all of a sudden. <laughs> it's going to be quite a shock for many people here in Ireland. Uh, last night, uh, I... Wasn't able to sleep. I only got two hours sleep all night because I could hear the frequency of the 5G in my area. Uh, air poisoning me in my own home. Uh, made my life difficult for getting up for work. But hey, I did it because I'm strong and I've been sick in the past. I'm able to struggle through things. A lot of Irish people will not know what's happening at all. And the Irish government's not going to tell them either. And the Irish media is not saying anything about the fact that 5G installation is going on all around the country during the lockdown. It's highly unusual that uh, phone engineers are seen as essential workers. Yes, and 5G is essential to your life. It's just more greed from Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, just so Irish people will suffer more. That's what's going to happen. And when they switch on the, the 5G all over Ireland at the end of the month, all at one go, it's going to blow a lot of minds away and a lot of people will be hurt, sick, and a good few people will die also, I'd say, because it's happened in other countries. Uh, so there is no safety results there is no safety tests the irish government has provided me with uh guidelines guidelines are no safety tests the irish people will be the live experiment at the end of the month when they turn on 5g uh, is 5g safe that is yet to be seen and turning it all on at one go is not safe 4g 2g they were all installed over a period of time, not just two months of a, a lockdown and the engineers had a free-for-all to install all the 2G and 4G. It was over a period of time the, the your body had time to adapt and your brain had time to adapt, as I've said. So is it safe? Well, not for me. I've been sick and dizziness and fatigue are the lesser uh, symptoms of radiation poisoning. Uh, there's much worse uh, on the list. You can go to the 5G We Do Not Consent Ireland Facebook page. There's posts on what you can do to help yourself uh, when you start to feel the effects of uh, radiation poisoning and what to do uh, regarding removing your consent to make it legally poisoning under Irish and international law. So I've taken, I'm taking action against the Irish government and also AIR. Uh, I'm going to be cancelling contracts with AIR and uh, they're trying to charge me a, a 994 euro cessation fee but I don't trust this company so why should I continue my contracts with a company that has betrayed me and poisoned me in my own home uh, and made me a live guinea pig for their 5G experiment. We the people of Ireland do not agree to 5G. Yes it is inevitable 5G but not just overnight. They'll just flick the switch and it's going to switch on all at once. That's not safe. Alistair Smith, 5G, we do not consent. Ireland, thank you.